Hi everybody, this is Eddie from E11 World and today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to get free images and videos that you can use uh, non, uh, for commercial and uh, for your personal work. So um, anyway, this is kind of just a quick screenshot here. Um, quick tip, you can go to wordle.net. Uh, you can make stuff like this. Uh, I just want to show you this one quickly. Um, so yeah, I created my own wordle.net and uh, you just put in a bunch of keywords um, or any words really and you hit randomize and it does this so yeah that was just a quick tip let's get on to the tutorial so these are some of the sites I go to regularly to find some free images um, this is one of them uh, if you go to it it's a nice uh, animation starts with so gratis so gratis so graphic I think uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying this really wrong, but uh, it's made by Bell's Design, and uh, here you can see uh, this is what he's talking about: free high-resolution pictures you can use for personal and commercial projects, and they're very high quality. Um, almost everything I've seen here is very high quality, so you can go through it and uh, you know just see whatever that you like and you want to use for your own projects. Um, most of them are already edited and. Uh, you know they're they look really nice so you kind of don't get the raw footage or images here so you're getting the actual edited and images that are kind of ready to go I'll just show you an example so it downloads it right away I don't want to do that right now um, you can open a new tab or whatever so this was one um, and the second one here is unsplash and uh, with this one it's a tumblr blog uh, you can actually subscribe and you'll get 10 new photos every day uh, every 10 days sorry uh, with with this one gratisography you're basically getting I think one every day and uh, photos all were captured by Ryan McGuire of Bell's Design yep and uh, so back to this one Unsplash they're also very nice photos again um, most of them seem like they're kind of the washed out look uh, you see nowadays maybe cross-processing is done to it, uh, to a lot of them. Um, and again, high quality, uh, very nice ones that you could use for all your projects. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan actually, so I'm liking this. Uh, I subscribed and you know, it doesn't hurt. Free photos. On to the next one. So iStock. Yes, they're pricey, they're you know, all that. Um, but they do have free files of the month. So when you sign in, you'll be able to get audio, video, and look at that, you get a preview audio. as well. So preview of videos, uh, this is kind of new actually for audio, I haven't seen that before. Um, I don't like the editorial section very much because, you know, you can't really use it for commercial purposes, so not a big fan of that. Otherwise, um, you know, nice, nice images, um, nice stock illustrations also you can use. Here's a video, you get the thumbnail there too. Um, so yeah, this is like free videos every month. Uh, videos, illustrations, and the audio files are once a month, but their images are once a week. So just make it a you know habit that to go on these sites once a week, maybe put on your calendar or something. And by the time you get to the third week, it's just a habit you're, you're doing, maybe not every Monday, but Tuesday or something. Um, yeah, so sign up, it's free, and you can get to these. Next one, stock, uh, Shutterstock, and uh, this is kind of similar to iStock, uh, but uh, they only have uh, photo of the week and illustration of the week, or free vector of the week. Um, and again, this is weekly stuff. Uh, just make it a habit again, sign up and go to this. They have actually very nice uh, photos. I, I find that they're newer. Uh, more modern photos and um, illustrations than iStocks. Um, iStock recent, recently um, slashed uh, a lot of their images to half price or, you know, basically cut down the credits that you buy with. So it, 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 is, it is useful. All right, so on to the next one. This is thinkstock.com and uh, it's by Getty Images. Or sorry, it was thinkstockphoto.ca, photos.ca. They keep changing these URLs. Anyway, you get it. Thinkstock. If you put thinkstock.com, you'll get to this. 
this is also um, free photo of the, of the week, uh, actually. Yeah, it is of the week, right here. The quality of the images here are not the best, but you know, there is these images that you find once in a while and uh, you know, with a little bit of editing, it can go very far. Uh, it depends on your needs as well. All right, and finally, this is Revostock. Uh, these guys, I think, offer very good templates, uh, I find, um, for videos and uh, for video animations. Uh, again, I just go, you know, sign up and you get to the download one uh, freebie of the week. And this is one of them. This is for this week's sample. So they're also nice, you know, depends on what you need. I've actually used a, a few of these uh, fr free uh, videos before and they worked out very nice, very well. Um, so I'm happy to say that, you know, these are something that I just do once a week and I keep keep them in folders organized and uh, you know by the end of the month or so you'll have a whole bunch of images and illustrations that you could use the only downside to all of these is that you always have to rename or put them in folders that make sense so for example you know with iStock you get this image and the name is something like IST or ISK or something like that and then numbers and um, same thing with other sites or, you know, there'll always be numbers. I, you know, this guy, I think, like if you could see here, um, this was 59H. So, you know, not the best naming methods for some of these sites. Um, anyway, it, I was hoping to see something like maybe in the meta tags that we could use. Uh, let's say if I load it into Lightroom or even Windows or Mac and just be able to read it off there. So whenever I'm searching for something, at least in my database, I can get to the meta tags there um, and figure out what uh, what images I need. You know, if I'm looking for an image of a tree or anything that has leaves, for example, I would get this. Um, but sadly, they don't do that. At least in the file name, um, not along. You know, I mean, uh, the meta tags is just a whole other story. And I've been searching for a program that kind of does this. I haven't really found something that's really great, especially anything with uh, image recognition where it recognizes what's in the image and gives you tags based on that. This would be the ultimate thing to have and uh, even better if it can do it for video. So yeah, Adobe, let's go. Or Google, you know, make something. All right, so yeah, this was a quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you have any other sites. Subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, if you go to oops so I'm here you know just put e living world and there I am so you'll find tons of videos I've got there um, yeah just subscribe and uh, I'll be getting more of these cook videos I uh, hope you like uh, all right I'll see you soon cheers